Hello everyone, my name is Samara Brown and today I will review my technological research project on ToonSquid. That said, let's get started. What is ToonSquid? To start things off, you may wonder what is ToonSquid? Well, ToonSquid is an animation app available on iPads. For roughly $10, it gives you access to a wide variety of tools you can use to create many types of traditional and keyframe animations. Why did you choose ToonSquid? I chose ToonSquid because it leaned towards my interests more regarding animation and drawing. I originally was going to do Blender as my topic for this project, but as I was working with the software, I was struggling to have it processed with my computer. If I manage to invest in a better computer, I'll give Blender a go again, but for the time being, I've decided to work with ToonSquid. When or where did you first hear or discover ToonSquid? Now, ToonSquid is fairly new to me. I first heard about it after I came across one particular artist review on Procreate Dreams. Going by the name of Stafe Draws on YouTube, Stafe created a video regarding Procreate Dreams and another app. Toon Squid. Stafe went into great detail regarding the comparison of the two, from the interface to the type of animation that could be done within the apps. At the end of the day, it was clear which app was true Victor, that being Toon Squid, as it had more features that artists can use to create the things that they want rather than the limitations Procreate Dreams has because of its lack of them. So I made the ultimate decision to give Toon Squid a try. And after gradual use of the product, I can definitely say that this is what Procreate Dreams should have been. What was it like using ToonSquid? For me, when I first started using ToonSquid, it was a bit difficult at first. I had to learn the basic ins and outs of the app itself. From the interface to the tools, there were so many things that were new to me. But after a while, I managed to get the hang of it. I think what helped me get the hang of it was my prior knowledge and understanding of Procreate. ToonSquid has a lot of features similar to it, and I think that's how I easily got the hang of it so quickly. For instance, ToonSquid has the double finger tap undo and triple finger tap redo options, just like Procreate. What were your difficulties using ToonSquid? My main difficulty when using ToonSquid probably has to do with using the transform tool on multiple objects. Whenever I happen to select multiple frames or layers within my animation, I can only transform them with the uniform scale mode instead of the freeform, perspective, and warp scale modes. Doing so makes scaling objects one by one extremely tedious. What new things did you learn about ToonSquid? There were so many new things I learned about ToonSquid. The main thing that stuck out to me was the transform hierarchy. The transform hierarchy is helpful in doing puppet animations. If you have an arm of a character, your shoulder, forearm, and hand are all in separate layers, you can connect them using the transform hierarchy, which keeps them all in place. To make sure that the pivots are moving correctly, you'll need to tap on the layer in which that arm segment is located and tap the center of it. Doing that gives you the option to edit the pivot point of your object so the hand, in our case, moves the character along with the rest of the arm. What did you manage to create using ToonSquid? There are many things that I managed to create using ToonSquid, one of which being my clown animation, and other animations related to a short film I'm currently working on for my animation production class with a little goblin named Goob. Would you recommend ToonSquid to someone else? If you're an iPad user and looking to easily start animating right away, I'd say give ToonSquid a try. It's a nice solid app with tons of features that you can almost easily create any form of animation you desire. Would you use ToonSquid in future projects? Yes, I definitely would use ToonSquid in future projects. ToonSquid has been the best animation software I've ever used to date. I love to find more ways to experiment with the software and master it as I continue to use it. 
What are your final thoughts on Toon Squid? My final thoughts on Toon Squid are that I can see myself continuously using this app more in the future. I feel like I have a better understanding of how to use the software and will love to continue experimenting with my ideas based on my newfound knowledge of what I can do in the app. That said, I appreciate you for taking the time to listen. Thank you.